Hello, I'm Christine and today I'm going to tell you the last part of our story. Hi, it's me, Bo the Dove. So what has been happening, I hear you ask. Well, the answer is lots and lots. About a week after my first flight outside, after all those months of being cooped up in that boat of Noah's, he, Noah came to get me again. Just like before, he took me up into the boat and onto the top deck and let me out of the window. This time when I was flying around, there was so much less water than there was before. I could see the top branches of trees. I flew down to take a breather and I stayed there for a while. And although there was a place at the top, there was no food for me to eat. So I couldn't stay there. I decided to take back a little gift to thank Noah for letting me onto the boat and looking after me for all this time. If he hadn't, I don't know what would have happened to me. There wouldn't have been any trees for me to have lived in. Anyway, I took Noah back a little twig from the olive tree that I had rested in. Boy, was he excited by that. He started running around showing all his family and they all started cheering and dancing. I mean, I'm pleased he liked it, but it was just a twig. I'm not sure why it was such a big thing. He started wearing it and stuck into his headband. The other animals were all a bit jealous that I had got off the boat for a while, but it was another week before I got the chance again. It followed the same pattern as before, with Noah letting me out of the window and me taking a good look round. But this time, when I found a tree, there was ground beneath it instead of just water, and I managed to find some tasty food. <gasps> now, call me ungrateful if you want, but now I could find food for myself. I decided to stay here among the trees. I just couldn't bear the thought of going back to that squash place in the boat where there was no room to fly. I'm sure Noah wouldn't mind. I mean, why was he sending me out here anyway? I can see the boat from where I am. It's stuck on the top of our mountain. Would you believe it? Soon after I decided to stay here, the door at the side opened and the animals started coming back out. Rather more of them than went in in the first place. They all spread out everywhere and started to wander off in every direction. Then Noah and his family came out too. They looked so happy to walk on dry land. The first thing Noah did was to build an altar and offer a sacrifice to God to say thank you for being saved. The most amazing thing happened. A huge coloured ark appeared in the sky. Noah started telling his family that it was a sign from God that it meant God would never flood the earth again and destroy everything on the earth. I love looking at that rainbow in the sky and I always remember that however bad something seems, it means God is always with us, caring for us and looking out for us, just like he did for that time uh, for Noah on the boat. Now, if you want to come back tomorrow, Jake will show you how to make your own rainbow. Thank you for listening and I hope you enjoyed it. We'll be back again in Advent with some more stories and lots of new crafts. But till then, keep safe. See you. Bye.